Hey guys, what's up? I'm Alex Pierce, and today we're going to be talking about AP Octane, which is an add-on that I created. It's been a long time since I've made any videos about AP Octane, and I've added a lot of features. And uh, so I just wanted to sort of go through all the all the new features and and sort of talk through some of these things. So if you don't have AP Octane yet, you can go to BlenderRender.co. Soon it's going to be .com. I own the .com. It's going to be transferred over probably within the next few weeks. So maybe by the time you're watching this, it'll be BlenderRender.com. But either way, Blender Render, and then you go to AP Octane, or you can also just search for Octane. And there are two versions. There's AP Octane Lite and AP Octane. AP Octane, you can see it costs $10. If you go to Quick View here, you can see these are some of the options that come with uh, AP Octane. So there's a lot of a lot of different options here. And then if you look at AP Octane Lite, you basically just get the setup tools. So uh, still very, very helpful if you're just getting into Octane, if you're just trying it out. These things will still save you hours and hours. Uh, and I still use them on every time I open a project. I basically use all of these <laughs> all of these settings. So it's still really helpful. Uh, but yeah, if you want all the extra features, if you're using uh, Octane seriously, uh, in Blender, then you're going to probably want to go ahead and just buy this. It's not that much. It helps support me. It helps me create more things for this. And I will also say, you know, if you, if you really can't afford $10, just send me a message and I'll give it to you for free. I'm not really trying to get rich off of it. Uh, I just, uh, and I'd rather it, it help you than anything else, but I do have a family. So with that said, once you have purchased it, um, you can go to my downloads up here. And then you will either have downloadable files or downloadable links, depending on what products you have at Blender Render. You might have both. Uh, for me, I'm mostly going to have downloadable links because uh, I can put this to a Google Drive or a Dropbox or whatever. And then once you go in, once I share that, then any updates that I have uh, will automatically show up there. So anytime I make an update, I'll post it to this beta. So it, it, this is the shared folder. I'll post it to this beta and it'll stay there until it's stable. And then it will be upgraded to the parent folder. And then this one will go into history. And then you can always go back and find a previous version of AP Octane in case there's something broken. So anyway, uh, yeah. So once, you, once you've bought it, you go to this Google Drive link um, and this is you know the meat of it. This is really all you need for the actual add-on. If you, if you get the light version, AP Octane Lite, you basically have the documentation and you have the, uh, the add-on itself. Now, if you download all of these, I right click and download, it's going, to, it's going to zip up these files. You're gonna wanna unzip them and then install this PY file by itself. And same with AP Octane uh, Pro do the same thing. If it zips it, just unzip it. And then the one note here, and it's this is all in the documentation, but one note is that this HDRI folder, which contains 25 uh, HDRIs, it's a very specific, uh, it, this needs to be, basically it needs to go to, I'll just show you real quick, C, HDRI, you just drop that, your HDRI folder into this C drive. And then this is the, the the folder structure that it needs to have. And this is very important. It has to be, everything has to be exactly like this, HDRI lowercase, and then these particular ones. Also included in AP Octane Lite and Pro is this startup blend. Now you can use this in a few different ways. If you have an existing project and you want to append these custom uh, material groups, which I'll talk about in a minute, you can drag this onto your existing project and then press append and then go to node tree and you can select AP mat and separate RBG and push append and then it will bring those groups into your project and then you can just do shift A search separate RGB or shift A search AP mat and it'll bring those up. Uh, or you can just open the, the blend file and it will you'll have these uh, in this blend file and then you can do a few things. One, you could go to file and then defaults, save startup file. And what that will do is the next time you open Blender, this will be your default project. This will be your default settings. So it'll have these custom groups and it'll also have, and this blend file also has um, basically all of the AP Octane, uh, all this, the, the, the setup for AP Octane. 
all this, the camera imager override, the day environment, HDR environment, v viewport denoiser, um, sampling on, setup, uh, the color management setup, the path trace quick settings. So uh, it basically has all that already set up. So basically, even if you have never used Octane for Blender, you should be able to just uh, open this file and push render and be good to go. So yeah, so if you look through here, you can see the denoising is turned on in the layers property uh, or in the uh, view layer properties. This passes is set to denoise beauty. So if we go to render, you can just see what, what it is. You basically have all of this already set up for you, including your world. The world has an HDR loaded already. Even if you're using the free version, you get this HDR set up here. This is a great example of these custom node groups and why why I like them so much. Uh, basically, this AP mat is just, again, it's just a, a universal material. But you can see here, basically, we have our base color going into albedo. We have our metallic roughness separated using the separate RGB node. Green going to roughness, blue going to metallic. And we have a normal map and we have smooth. So we can see everything we need to see right here and including the sliders. So even if we wanted to manually select this, we could do that. Um, and it just makes it a lot easier than trying to c connect everything to the universal material when you don't really need all those extra settings. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.